Hi, I'm Steve Anthony. I'm a handyman, a carpenter here in New York City. Let's talk a little bit about the Dremel laminate cutting tool. First of all, the Dremel itself is an extremely versatile tool that everybody should have in their shop. It's a high-speed rotary cutting tool. It can be used for grinding, shaping, uh, uh, engraving, routing. You've got an attachment. You can make it into a router. You can make it into a, a small saw. Uh, the laminate cutting tool is, uh, is a, a thin bit that attaches to the spindle of the Dremel and allows you to cut through any number of materials, laminate, uh, woods, plywood, hardwood. It's, uh, it's extremely versatile and it replaces so many tools in your tool chest, you really should have one. The old versions of them were only available in plug-in models. Nowadays they actually make them battery operated so you can go cordless. Uh, obviously you're not going to have as much, you, you're going to be limited in your usability before you have to change your battery, whereas if you plug it in you're going to have all the time you need to do your project. But uh, for cutting laminate or plywood or wood or even, they even have bits where you can cut uh, ceramic tile, which makes it uh, incredibly versatile. And um, usually they have settings so you can slow it down from up to 40,000 RPM down to about uh, probably about 2,000 RPM, depending on, the, on what you're cutting and the speed of the bit or blade that you want to use. So just make sure that you're matching your material to the RPM that you need to use for your Dremel so you make sure you get a good clean cut without burning or, or shredding or getting a lot of uh, uh, material chipping. That's, that's what you want to avoid. You want to get a nice smooth cut. And usually making the, the right RPM for the material that you're cutting will minimize chipping, give you a nice smooth cut. And uh, make sure you always use your safety glasses because this tool does spin at a very high rate of speed and anything that uh, goes wrong you certainly don't want to uh, to put your eyesight at risk so safety glasses number one and uh, you might want to use a, a respirator dust respirator to keep the particles out of your lungs as well